In this video, we're going to learn how to break down a gumption crash. The gumption crash has five parts, which is gumption itself, then you're gonna go to prep, there's a contact point, the actual crash in itself, and then the release back into gumption position. To play a gumption crash, first of all, make sure you're at a perfect gumption position. For gumption prep, we're first gonna focus on just the left symbol. So on the prep count, you're going to take your fingers and push your symbol into your forearm. And you're gonna make sure that you keep your symbol on the same angle and you're just pushing that straight into your arm. Now for the right hand, let's go ahead and put that into the mix. The right hand is gonna pull back towards your bicep. Uh, you wanna have very little motion in your elbow and that right symbol should be pointing downwards into the left symbol. So something that's interesting about gumption prep here is it's actually perfectly symmetrical. So you'll see the space at the top of the symbol and the bottom make equal triangles. And what that does is it, it makes it so that you're aiming your symbols right in the front with your ring finger and your middle finger on your right hand. Something else you should note for gumption prep is that your right symbol is aiming two inches inside of the left symbol. Um, you'll also see that from the elbow down through the fingertips, we're still not breaking our wrist. We have that nice, long, beautiful line through our arm. For contact, you're going to take the right symbol and place it two inches inside of the left symbol. Make sure that the relationship between your right and your left symbol don't change in terms of the angle. So you shouldn't apply more pressure towards your pinky or your thumb side. Uh, we should still see those perfect triangles uh, on the top and the bottom of the symbols. For the crash, the right hand does most of the work here. So what it does is it pushes the left hand back to set where it started and then the right hand is extended. So from the side profile, what you're gonna see is that the arm, the elbow is not quite locked, uh, but it's pretty straight out there. You basically get the back right edge of the symbol to be right at the edge of the left bell. The arm is nice and straightforward, fingertips are forward, and now it's time for the release. For the release, the only thing that happens is that the right hand pulls straight back in on top of the left, and this puts you back at gumption where you started. In terms of sound quality, to get a sweet sounding crash, you wanna make sure that your cymbals actually flam. So the cymbals should not hit together at the same time. This is gonna happen at the front edge and then the back. What you're trying to do is make sure that the flam is nice and fast, that your arm has velocity, and that you're not hitting the cymbals together at the same time. 